Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and this is the 120 centimeter by 80 centimeter Easy Up Softbox from Mick and Sue. Now, I'm not going to talk about how easy this is to put together because it really is incredibly straightforward. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the grid you see on the front because the Easy Up Softbox comes with an egg crate grid. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you a real live photo shoot. We're going to get a, a subject in and we're going to shoot them with this softbox. But let me explain about why the grid can be really useful. Now, we all know that softboxes give lovely soft and fairly one direction light. OK, so you can control the direction of the light pretty well. But nonetheless, it will give a little bit of spill onto the background and contaminate your background. And in a small studio like I'm in today, that's a real problem. So with the grid in place, you can direct the light in any one direction that you like. And if I turn the softbox towards you, you can see at this angle it gives a normal softbox look. But as I angle it away, so that grid comes into play and it stops the, the light spilling off the edges, contaminating the background and making lighting more tricky. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this to light the subject with the softbox and then add a second light to control the background. Okay, so we're all set up in the studio. We have our fantastic model. This is Tim. He's going to be modeling for us today and uh, we're going to test the softbox. So I've just got it set up just in a standard 90 degree position. And in this position, it's going to light Tim really well, but we're going to get some spill onto the background. And that's often what we want to try and avoid. So let's start with that picture and see how that looks. Okay, so Tim, nice, big, happy smile. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. Yeah, pretty much as I expected. Tim looks good, but the background, well, there is a little bit of light on it, but it's not enough to be lit and it's not enough to be dark. So let's change things. Let's put the egg crate on the softbox and see how that changes the shot. Okay, so with the egg crate in place, it should give the light a lot more direction, meaning that we can control the light onto Tim just as we did before, but less spills onto the background. Let's take a picture and find out. Okay, so get a nice big happy smile. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean that really does work well. That background, whilst it isn't completely black, because we are getting a little bit of bounce off the, uh, the fill light there, it's pretty much black. So that's working very well indeed. And because we've now controlled the light onto Tim, we can light the background separately and get exactly the look we're after. Right, coming around. So what I've done is added a little grid down the back here. It should just put a little spot of light in here. This is the standard honeycomb grid and the light is set a little bit lower than the main light, but we'll just take a meter reading to be sure. And that's coming in at F4, so it's coming in just about half a stop below my key light. Let's take a shot and see how that looks. Okay, slap bang in the middle, that's where we want you. Smart stuff, there you go. And there we go, that gives me that lovely vignette background. The background is very well lit and Tim has great lighting on him. Well, to be honest, on the whole, I'm pretty pleased with the results. The grid worked pretty much exactly how I expected it to. It controlled the light on the subject, allowed me to use a second light on the background to get the look I was after. Now, just to recap what we had in the first picture, we had no grid on this at all. It was just a normal softbox and there's a little bit of contamination on the background. We can see that Union Jack behind. Now, in the second picture, we added in the grid. That made the light very much of one direction and therefore no contamination on the background, pretty much black. And then finally, because we had no contaminated background, we could add our own light on the background and light it however we wanted. So there you go, three different lighting effects using the Easy Up Softbox from Mick and Sue. To find out more about it, visit the website at www.smick.co.uk. I'm Gavin Howey, thanks for watching.